Hello and welcome to the Performance Radio Intro Tutorial Videos. In these series of videos, we'll cover where and why our radios are used, how to bind them, how to conduct a site survey, and how to read the system's discrete, analog, and Modbus I.O. All of these functions can be performed without software, so there's no need to connect to a computer. A complete radio system has at least one gateway and one node. The gateway is the brains for the wireless system. One gateway can communicate with up to 47 nodes. Both gateways and nodes are bidirectional. Our 900 megahertz performance radios are one watt. Our 2.4 gigahertz radios are 0.65 watts. Out of the box, our 900 megahertz radios with standard antennas attached can communicate several miles with a clear line of sight. This gives you plenty of power to penetrate concrete, wood, and brick walls in your plant. Longer ranges and more penetrating power are possible with our Omni and Yagi antennas. Note, radio signals cannot penetrate metal. Antenna extension cables can be used to mount the antenna above or around the metal obstruction. Whenever using antennas outdoors, be sure to incorporate a surge suppressor to guard against lightning strikes and static discharge. Due to their long range and ease of use, our wireless systems are used in many applications, from tank level monitoring, remote presence or absence detection, temperature and vibration asset monitoring, slip ring applications, temperature and humidity monitoring, remote water treatment, pressure monitoring, and much, much more. Our standard performance radio operates on 10 to 30 volts DC. Our flex power option operates on 10 to 30 volts DC, 3.6 to 5.5 volts DC with a lithium battery or on solar power. Our standard housing is IP67, so radios can be mounted outdoors without an enclosure. We also offer Class 1 Division 2 options with external terminals. For a lower cost and space saving option, we offer board level radios. We also offer an array of battery powered nodes that are easy to deploy and relocate. These nodes are powered by two AA or one single C or one single D cell lithium battery. When choosing a simple wireless system to send discrete and or analog signals, start with our pre-map radios. Once bound, pre-map radios IO will automatically map between the gateway and the node. Note, any radio that is not pre-mapped must have its IO mapped via software. Our pre-mapped kits are not only pre-mapped, they are pre-bound at the factory. This is the quickest and easiest way to deploy a wireless system. Well, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.